What is up everybody and welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So of course behind me you see Frosty and really quick let me go over Frosty and how I'm feeling with these 24s on here because this is my first set of 24s I've ever had on a truck. Archon Off-Road 24x14s and Fury Country Hunter MTs. 35 by 1550s, love it. And this is a fully usable setup, lock to lock. And we're just gonna kinda go over both the trucks, how they are, how you're gonna, you know, see them as a finished product and, you know, the ins and outs. And so you know exactly what you have to pick from. So this truck, of course, in terms of the engine, is pretty much stock. Pretty much nothing has been touched other than apparently the fuel plate or something like that was just adjusted a little bit at one point but clearly not much because it doesn't like dump a bunch of coal at all so in terms of that stuff engines mostly stock it's got a cowl hood on it with a two inch raise of course the 24 by 14s and the 35s it's got a four and a half inch suspension lift on it with a three inch spacer added up front to give it a total of seven and a half inches of increased clearance up in the front truck is from Idaho so it has no rust on it you can see how clean it is it is just very 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 clean it's not a rust bucket all the panels are original nothing's like bondoed up or anything like that no big dents dings I mean it's just it's a beautiful truck we did the smoked out tail lights in the rear clear lens matte black housing headlights for the front end with LEDs interior let's get into the interior the interior is a funny one. It's a navy blue interior. So all the seats and everything are navy blue. Dash top, we put a black dash top in there that wasn't cracked because the other one was cracked and pretty rough. It's a five speed manual, four wheel drive. Beautiful truck, absolutely love it. It's got its imperfections, but for the most part it is it's in really, really great shape. Fourth gen style tow mirrors on it. And for this truck, other than possibly tint going on yet, maybe one or two other small things, this is pretty much how you're gonna see this truck as your option. Try not to show the platinum over here. There's no justice as to how big this thing really is. It's, it's massive. And the other truck I wanna show you right now that you have to pick from is the platinum. Chip, chip, chip. Now that you've seen that truck, you've saw the dramatic shots of it. This truck is a 2017 Platinum. It's got the 6.7 Power Stroke in it, of course, and this truck is a beaut. It's loaded out. This truck is also, though, in terms of the engine, this one is stock. We're not playing any funny business with the EPA on this stuff because it's there's too much on the line, too much at stake, so no deletes or tunes or anything like that, unfortunately, as much as I would have way rather have done that. Truck has 38,000 miles on it, so you've got the brushed aluminum looking grill. You've got the big, quad beam headlights, which are awesome. The paint to match bumpers, all that good stuff. We went with some Archon off-road Lincoln wheels, 20 by 12s, brand new 35 by 12 50s on a 20 by 12. The interior, of course, you've got massaging seats because every truck needs to have that. You've got the black leather, platinum badging in the seats. You've got the panoramic sunroof. I mean, you've got everything at your fingertips. I mean, it's just an absolutely beautiful beautiful truck i love the obs style fords like the big boxy fords but this is probably one of my new favorites because it's kind of like a modernized version of those trucks like they're more square more boxy than like the previous ones you know you know what i'm saying but fords always kind of had that theme with their trucks but i do just love the styling of these new trucks the first one that came out i did not like them at all in fact, I said I will never buy a truck like that because I just I didn't like the front end when they first came out. Um, but once they've been out, you know, for a little bit longer, I was like, you know what? This is actually probably one of the coolest front ends I have ever seen on a truck. But with this truck, in terms of the overall aggressive appearance in the front end when you first see it, I love just the front clip of this truck so so much. It does have the cab lights, Barker lights in the mirrors, all that stuff. You know, platinums are pretty much loaded out in terms of all the options you can get as that's pretty much the trucks and 
how they are and what they have to offer. The wife's over there filming some video on that truck. These are the two trucks that you have to pick from right now. And in terms of why I went with this wheel option, there's probably a lot of people thinking, why'd you go with Archon Off-Road? You know, why'd you go with that brand? And really just to try something different. And no, they did not pay for my wheels. No, they did not pay me to give them any kind of a promotion at all. And I can say that in video and they will see the video. I genuinely just wanted to go and try them out because I saw them. I'm like, you know what? I like the design of those. I'm gonna give them a shot, you know what I mean? Like just see how I actually like them on a truck because I'm always looking for different wheels since we go through so many different brands and sets and styles. And I went with two sets of them actually and they do look really good. If you guys like directional wheels and you like the styling of their stuff, go check them out. Information is in the description below. Just go click on the link when you check out. Tell them that I sent you though. My name is Malachi and they might have me down though as just, you know, my YouTube channel, Loud and Proud. Link in the description if you guys are into wheels. They sell everything though, not just Archon Off Road. They sell everything you can think of. They're like one of the largest or the largest wheel and tire distributor on the internet. They're huge. Now, of course, with this truck back here, I do have a set of 38 by 1450s on the way, which unfortunately are not here as soon as I was hoping because of a very stupid technical difficulty on the company's end that I ordered them from, which was not custom off. <laughs> it was a different company, just saying that really quick. Those are on the way, so you're gonna have the option between 24 by 14s and 35s or just 38s on 16 by 10s, just so you know. In terms of these two trucks, the way they sit right here, right now, Reagan just said, you should talk to them and tell them what truck you would pick and why and the things to weigh out in that decision. It's really hard to say in terms of like which truck I would recommend for you because that is completely up to you and what you prefer and why you prefer it. Those, everybody has their own reasons, everybody has their own taste. If I was somebody that did a lot of driving, like they were on the road a lot, um, they did a lot of towing or they did lots of like long distance stuff, you know what I'm saying? I would honestly go with the Platinum. It's more comfortable for that kind of stuff. You just can't beat the towing capability of this truck compared to that one. It's just, everything's just so much different. The transmission in this truck, great. This one's great too. It's a dual disc clutch on a five speed manual, which if you know what that means, it's, it is your bulletproofing for a transmission. It's just quiet. It's nice, all that stuff. If you're somebody who's into stuff that is just cool, hard to come by, you're not going to see many of them. You can't just go buy one. This is it. Like you're, you either find a clean one or you, you're not going to have one ever. This is that type of truck. I love second gens. You guys should know that by now. I bought a lot of second gens. Actually, how many second gens have we bought? A lot. I, I, I'm not even going to go through and take the couple of minutes to try to figure it out real quick, but we bought a lot of them. You guys can probably tell me down in the comment section below. Some of you guys probably keep better track than I do of that stuff. I love and appreciate a clean second gen, especially 12 valve, especially a 12 valve with a five speed. And this truck just hits all the criteria of exactly what I would look for if I'm looking for a clean second gen five speed manual. Lower miles, five speed manual, it's four wheel drive, it's not rotted out, and it's just a hard to come by truck in this condition, in this state. I'm a little bit biased, even though my family was like a Ford family growing up, I've just always been more biased towards, you know, the Ram stuff. So if I was somebody that didn't do tons of driving, even if you did, but if I was just somebody that didn't do tons of driving, you just had a really big passion for these older trucks that are clean and you want something that's like, not anybody can just go buy one. But if I like uniqueness and rarity, I would go with this truck. This truck over here, the sad truth is it's going to depreciate faster because it's a newer vehicle and they just kind of depreciate, 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 depreciate. I mean, they just do. And you can no longer do deletes and stuff like that, which is gonna make it even worse. With this truck, however, they don't make these anymore and there's not, you know, hundreds of thousands of them sitting around. So it's kind of like one of those things where like even, you know, eight years ago, second gens that were clean and in good shape are still selling for the same as they are now. They're not getting any cheaper, even depending on the miles, really, as long as they're clean, they're manual, they run good, they're just not depreciating and losing value fast. I would go for the second gen. If I was in that second situation, if I was the first guy, tons of driving, need something comfortable, long distance, I'd go for the Platinum. Guys, something that I have not said yet, we are running a sale that is only for this week. It's not really a sale, it's more like a special. For this week only, every $5 is five entries to win the truck of your choice whether you want a 5C manual 12 valve, four wheel drive, or a 2017 F250 Platinum Power Stroke. It's up to you, but every $5 is five entries to win, and that deal ends December 1st, which is in like six days. And also the overall giveaway ends in 13 days 
unless you're seeing this video on a later date than when it goes up. So you guys are running out of time and I just want you guys to know that every $5 is five entries to win and time is running out. Information will be in the description below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys like the new wheel and tire setup on this truck. I know I do. I think it looks really, really killer. I like it a lot. If you do, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.